Alright, so we're going into game one. Fox is doing, you know, nice save, short off double laser. We have a standard Fox combo here, a lot of up tilts. Alright, misses that tech chase. And he's got Jimmy off stage. Oh, early SD by Ooh, Jimmy. I missed that already. I mean, he was at 83, he got 0 to 83, and then he All did right, a bad okay. up B. Um, that's, that's painful, though. That's, you really don't want to start a game like that. No, you don't. Take it from someone who just did. <laughs> This is Fox's combo game is looking pretty solid. Yeah, and uh, you know, I, especially against people who maybe aren't the best at, at Smash DI. Yeah. Fox just sort of dominates. And, yeah. Uh, it's oh, is Jimmy playing Fox? He is. Yeah. Okay, I got that backwards. Cool. Yeah. So. Uh, anyway. So I noticed, you know, maybe a little bit of the Pika habits coming through that he seems to be going for some tech chasey stuff, uh, where like maybe he had a more guaranteed combo. You know, I know Pika loves to just like forward throw and then yeah, forward throw and then run over. Yeah, yeah I mean the Pika combos are, are hard. And, um, it's uh, not sometimes it's not immediately obvious why you should do those instead of just running and grabbing. Um, so tell me about that. Why should you do those rather than just running and grabbing? Uh, because you know you want to guarantee a kill. I mean, yeah. your combo game is good. One. All right, drill jab up smash bread and butter. Yeah, and that's really the, the, the lack of smash DI. I mean, you can get away without smash DI in melee. You know, be pretty good. Yeah. But you cannot in this game. Yeah, I mean, as someone who's coming from melee into this, that's like the number one thing I need to work on. Like, yeah. if you saw game three of my set, I was finally getting the DI in the drills. Yeah, yeah. We, Jimmy Joe and I were mentioning that, especially if something like Jigglypuff or uh, yeah. um, Fox. You, I mean, yeah. I was I was running a bunch of sets with him earlier, and it was great. Like, I think Puff's such a great character to practice DI against because yeah. it's so like, oh, I didn't DI, I got rusted. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I was teaching somebody to play this game, I would teach them DI even before like Z canceling. I mean, I mean. Yeah, it's, it's such an important tech that if you want to be at all competitive in this game, you really have to do it. Yeah, yeah uh, my 64 has been at Neb, so I'm taking it home after this one. I'm going to start doing some DI practice. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, Kevin takes takes a stock. Good stuff. Jimmy showing off. And uh, Jimmy does Fox, you know, Jimmy Joe, I wouldn't consider one of the most fastest technical players, but recently, um, he's been getting up to speed. Uh, his fox is moving quicker. He's, um, you know, doing a lot of stuff that he didn't used to do. I'd say, you know, a few months ago. Sure. I mean, you uh, see him super consistently using those short off double lasers. Yeah. I don't think he's missed one this game yet. Oh, and I said it. <laughs> yeah. Commentators cares. see a lot of forward airs. A lot of Pikachu's yeah. use forward airs. Yeah, that's what know. I was saying. He, he's playing fox a bit like Pikachu. Yeah. Like, uh, um, forward air is really something that extremely situational for Pikachu. Um, you know, up air goes farther forward than forward air does. Yeah. Um, or neutral air. Um, and it's not, you know, you're approaching somebody, you're going up there, you're going forward, and then you press one and press A yeah. to do the move. But you have to sort of break that habit and realize that going forward, maybe I should do an up air um, or neutral air. And that's not. Yeah, that's, that's that's tricky. And it's a little trickier in like this versus melee because you don't have a C stick, right? Right. So, you know, you have to use the same stick for air control and for aerials. Yeah. So uh, there's a lot of subtlety involved in retreating for airs and definitely and you know approaching bears, all that fun. Yeah, and things like uh, you know fast falling and not down air, like down airing without fast falling. Yeah. Uh, a lot of things that. Or yeah, fast falling and doing different aerials. Yeah. yeah. Which is probably what you meant. No, like, um, just like doing a fast just empty fast fall without daring. Or no, you're doing a dare without fast falling while you're okay. going down. Okay, I got what you mean. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, whereas in like melee or just any press other one, press yeah. down on that C stick one. Or buffering rolls or stuff like that. Oh yeah. You can't do any Show of that. Show pressure so. so real, it's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I missed the Z cancel there. Yeah, that should have been a kill, right? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, goes out, goes almost out. gets it. So earlier I was getting criticized because I was playing peak and I was going out against Fox, and it was like, it's dude, just stay on the stage <laughs> and like just punish whatever he does. Yeah, it, it depends. I, I mean, really good Pikachu's they can recover so that they get an edge cancel and they can start doing stuff immediately. Um, should be a grab. There we go. Hopefully it's the stock. Well, does dash attack reach far enough over the ledge for that? It might, it might. Uh, I think you probably meant to do a forward smash. Yeah. Oh, so you got 
that's okay. I was hoping we'd see a single hit off air change, but this is cool too. Alright, got the popcorn. Nice. Alright. Throwing the back this game. No, a little late. Jimmy Joe smartly gets off the ledge and comes back. Yeah, you go. Gotta avoid that forward smash. Just drops down from the ledge. Nice ledge hop here. Clean beats it. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Pop goes the weasel. <laughs> Okay, so like that dash attack there, that just that uh, seems suboptimal to me. Oof. Okay, nice shot and shield. In these situations, I think uh, a lot of Kelvin's approaches are getting hit by like up tilts and things. These are the things where like approaching with up air with Pikachu would be really useful because um, up air can beat those those sort of things. So up air is really disjointed, right? It is. Pikachu's tail wraps around and it's actually invincible. Um, awesome. So you can. Uh, really get a lot of distance with it. Hopefully this should be stock. Oof. This should be it. Nails the forward smash. No! Ooh. So yeah, is there any reason not to forward smash that? Not there, no. Pretty much guaranteed. You just forward smash, and then if they get good ledge DI, you, you do, do it again. Else. Well, at yeah. this percent, he's not gonna be able to get ledge DI and recover anyway. Oh, interesting. Um, Fox, if you're unless you're recovering from above with Fox, you can't get the ledge DI because the, the forward smash will hit you too low down. Gotcha. Um, but that's percent dependent, or it's pretty much all the time. Fox really almost never gets the reverse ledge DI. Gotcha. Um, just because that should be a kill. Oh no, it's not. No, it goes for the one. double. No, almost anything will kill Fox at this point. Neutral air. That should do it. Yep. Oh! <laughs> Looking like me. Yeah, uh, nice little plus there, but uh, you know, respectable by, by Calvin. I, yep. Um, Put up a good show. Yeah.